Okay, so now let's go into the transport window. So basically this area right here is the transport window. Um, you can also go up to window down to transport if you want it just to be its own separate thing as well. Some people like that. Um, I'll just keep it there for you to look at. This is called the transport window, but I'm going to go up here and play with it. So this is the cool thing about the transport window. I want you to watch this area right here. So what we have here is basically this. You'll see all in Pro Tools, there's all these different sort of called view options, which you can also click on here to see your different view options. But a lot of times it's easier just to do this. So for example, right now we're seeing time code. We're seeing zero, two seconds, four seconds, six seconds, eight seconds, 10 seconds, and so on. But maybe I also want to see it in just minutes and seconds. Boom, look, now I've got minutes and seconds up here. Maybe I also want to see it in bars and beats if I'm into like doing like a musical thing. So right now it's in like bars and beats. So what is this? Uh, hold on a second. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So basically, um, I myself am not going to be doing bars and beats. I just want to see things in minutes and seconds and time code. Um, but you can also do that up here. So like, what's your main one going to be? Is it going to be bars and beats? These are what we call ticks. This is all musical stuff. But we're doing video, so I myself like to have this be a time code. And then this is a sub uh, clock, which you could you have the same selection. So I'll have this be minutes and seconds. There we go. As you can see. This is a 30 frame or 29.97 project. So I'm at five seconds, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oops, six seconds. And you'll see over here that this is showing where my cursor is. My cursor is at the six second and ninth frame. It ends at the six second and ninth frame. And then I have the length. So maybe I could just type in here, uh, I want this to be 12 seconds. Boom, and look, it just made the selection for me. So it starts at six seconds and nine frames, it ends at 12 seconds, and the length of the selection is five seconds and 20 frames. That is this. I can also just use the selector tool and look what's happening at the, at the start, end, and length there at the top in the counter window. It's increasing and de decreasing the length. So if I'm like saying, I wonder how big this is, how many seconds and frames is it? I can use the grabber tool, just click on it once, boom. And now this is telling me that this clip begins at four seconds and 13 frames, ends at seven seconds and 18 frames, and it's three seconds and four frames long. So this is really good if you're say like making commercials which have to be exactly 30 seconds then i'll be like you know what i need to shave off a few frames it looks to me like i could do that here i can use the trim tool trim off a few frames and now look the length is three seconds and one frame maybe we'll go to the end and trim off a little bit at the end boom now it's two seconds and 29 frames so whatever you select it's going to show you where it starts ends and how long it is up here super cool um now let's go over here grid and nudge i'm going to zoom in for this one so these are our grid lines right so let's click on grid so, so we can see how this works so the grid we can make these grid lines happen every second so here's one at uh, eight seconds. Here's another one at nine seconds. So, or we can have our grid lines 
every five frames. We can have our grid lines every frame. We can have our grid lines every half frame. And then that way, if we're moving and we really want to use the grid lines to like sort of nudge things back and forth, we can nudge it down to the, the subframe whatever that is <laughs> at that point you might as well just be using slip um but this is as good if you want to i'd keep it on the frame but maybe you don't want to be in grid mode because you just don't like it you want to stay in slip mode that's okay you go down to nudge oop go down to nudge and if you go down to nudge and put it on one frame then you can use your plus and minus keys on your keyboard. And look at that. So I'm in slip mode, but I'm telling it to nudge only a frame. Maybe I want it to nudge five frames. See that? I'm hitting plus and minus on the keyboard. See the counter? It's going up and down five frames. So this is a really easy way, or maybe I want to nudge it by a second. I like to keep it on just one frame and then I just keep my finger on the key if I want to go frame by frame by frame. But this is a really good, let me zoom back out. This is a really good way to basically say, you know what, I placed this clip and it needs to be in here somewhere, but I want it to be just a little bit forward or just a little bit backward. Or you know what, why don't I go down to the half frame and then I can really get it exactly where I want. And of course, I can always just grab it and really do it manually as well. So, but the nudge tool is really awesome. And then last but not least, you've got your transport controls. You've got, here we have stop, play, no. Rock. No. Rock. and then we have record. Uh, which is if you're going to record something. And then we've got, I never use these keys because I just scroll around. But uh, this basically takes you to the beginning of your first clip. And this takes you to the end of your last clip. Uh, so beginning of the first clip, end of the last clip. This, would you, if you hold it, scrolls through. And this, if you hold it, scrolls, rewind, scrolls and rewinds. So fast forward, rewind, go to the first frame, go to the last frame. And that's basically how you get around. Oh, last but not least, a little trick here. The return key goes to the very beginning of your timeline. Option return goes to the very end of your timeline. So if you ever just want to go back to the beginning, just hit return. Or if you want to go to the very end, hit option return.